very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new educational video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so as usual please allow me guys to share with you our results from the extreme trader premium signals group I mean we are really doing amazing this week I mean Angela has done outstanding performance sending these signals this week as you can see all of the days we were finishing in profit except maybe over 7th April it was somehow a break even however look at the other days all of them are green full of profits and the losses also are very reduced to the maximum look at that 10 pips of loss only 20 pips of loss uh, 10 pips of loss on the other days I mean that's really fantastic and the members are actually very happy and to be honest with you we are receiving so many happy messages from the members they are very glad to join the service what we are showing in the free group of the messages is only the selected ones but we are receiving tons of messages, and that is the fact honestly speaking and by the way I just wanted to share with you also that those who are joining the extreme trader premium group they will receive this video this video is only for those who are joining the group and I have explained in a brief what they can do and how they can use the signals this is also I have made here a demonst demonstration of how to select the take profit one and two and three what are their options and how to, to end these uh, trades in a good profit if they want to end that uh, until uh, take profit level three what options they have and how can they do it and by the way we are having so many members who are actually accepting only take profit number one there was a message from a member who have made more than a thousand dollars saying to us that he only selected take profit one ignoring take profit level two and three so he just paid fifty dollars in a month for the joining of the service and he ended up with more than a thousand dollars I mean that's amazing and that is what I really want to see in my extreme trader premium signals group so my friends if you wish to join the group please don't hesitate to contact Angela you can find her contact details in the de description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you all there soon so let's go now to the main subject of this video and actually instead of making another live trading video using the 20 pips a day strategy I decided that it's actually much better if we discuss the mistakes that some traders are still doing using this strategy actually I'm receiving many messages from members they are complaining that they are still no matter how many videos they watch they are still not able to make the decent profit they are looking for and therefore it's better now to discuss what are the mistakes these people are falling to so there are several things we need to pay attention to the first thing ever is the trading time trading time is very important actually you cannot just open the trade or the, the mt4 and just open the trades of the 20 pips a day strategy just like that uh, actually I have wrote for you here guys all of the times uh, for which time is actually suitable for using these 20 pips a day strategy as you can see I I have tried to add all of the countries as much as possible uh, I took these uh, countries from the list of my YouTube analysis where is the highest viewer uh, list on YouTube uh, the highest view views rates and hopefully I was able to cover most of these countries I mean you can just uh, use Google to know what is the time if you can't if you cannot see your country here on this list uh, just look on Google uh, write your country name and then select from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. GMT to find what is the best time for your country time to use the strategy or actually to trade Forex in Dubai time for example the best time at all to trade Forex is from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. Um, that is actually the time where I'm starting to uh, recording the live trading videos and also doing my trades and you can check your country hopefully you will find it here on the list however that's of course not enough there are several things we need to pay to pay attention to one of them is actually the high impact news I mean even if I'm telling you that the best time to trade uh, Forex is from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. in Dubai time you cannot ignore the news there will be always some high impact news that can actually affect the market especially the USD pairs uh, there are some news actually we need to pay attention to let me just uh, try to summarize some of them for you actually hold on let me just sh show you this one second so what you can do you can just open your browser and go to forexfactory.com 
forexfactory.com is very helpful website it can tell you what are the upcoming high high impact news that you can actually avoid the trading during these times so let's see for example on the next week up next we can see here on tomorrow there's nothing nothing of course let's click more so we can see on the next week for example next week we are having the uh, on wednesday for example at 6 p.m we are having the boc monetary policy report on the cad pair so we know that this time we have to avoid trading especially the cad pairs uh, for example we can know on thursday april 16th on 4 at 4 30 p.m dubai time there will be the unemployment claims on the usd so we should know that this is actually a bad time to use the strategy you have to keep your eyes on these high, uh, high impact news and be aware that they're actually they actually can affect you, the, the whole market so no matter what strategy you are applying on that uh, in your day trading it will never work if you are having right now on high impact news or um, not only that by the way you have to pay attention to the politics in news you have to pay attention to mr trump whatever he says it can actually rock the market not everything will be mentioned here by the way guys not everything there are a few other things like for example if mr trump will announce something that he will uh, change the federal bank's rates um unconsciously un what what is the word without informing anyone i mean it happens many times that he makes these tweets without informing anyone and these tweets actually can affect the market so badly so you have to always pay attention to that and be careful so that is one very important part trading times again i'm placing them here for you please take a screenshot write it down on a notebook somewhere be, be careful that you should use the strategy only during these times number two the mistake that is uh, some people are doing is using a bigger lot size i mean even if i'm telling you that this is a 20 pips a day strategy don't ever use a huge lot size comparing to your account for example if you are a, if you if you are using account for example let's say one thousand dollars just because you are aiming at 20 pips a day that doesn't mean that you can use lot size of for example five lot or eight lot that is actually very dangerous you can actually end up wiping your account be very wise remember that you can only make a good profit in forex on the long term or in the long run you cannot expect making a lot of profits in forex in just one day and night that is not gonna happen you will end up wiping your account i, gu I guarantee that for you i promise you that you will you will wipe your account if you do that what you should do is slowly grow your account only accept a small profit for example from one thousand uh, dollars size uh, uh, size account you can use 0 0.5 I would recommend that 0 0.5 is actually enough actually even 0 0.4 is enough you have to consider that there is a possibility of a loss always doesn't it doesn't mean that it doesn't always mean that you will win the trades you have to be ready for the losses they might occur always prepare for them don't ever risk your account what my idea is actually what i prefer to do for example if you have one thousand dollars in your account and you want to trade it just what you will do is use a small lot size such as 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 all right be careful be wise to what trade you are entering for example you have entered buy on the euro usd for example then you have made for example let's say 50 dollars profit okay now what you will do on the next trade you will risk this 50 dollars only keep your investment safe so your ex your account will be 1050 dollars you can enter the next trade risking only $50 no more only be sure that you are risking the profit that you have made from the first trade and always try to try your maximum to keep your, your your investment always safe don't ever try to trade with your investment itself only in the first trade only of course the other trades only risk the profits for example if you have won the next trade you might grow the account to 1000 120 dollars now what you have to do is split this 120 now you have one 120 dollars of profit correct split of it split the half of it for example the half of this 120 is 60 dollars now what you can do on the next trade on the third trade is risk only 
half of the two profits you have made did you get my point guys so in total from one thousand dollars you have made one hundred one thousand one hundred twenty dollars split the amount the amount of the profit because the profit right now is 120 split it two amounts for sixty dollars and another sixty dollars you can now trade with this sixty dollars and hopefully grow it if you lost this sixty dollars in the first trade no problem you have now another sixty dollars to trade and hopefully you will make the profit and so on and so on so using the lot size actually what i'm trying to tell you here using the lot size is a very important part because you can slowly grow your account if you follow strictly what i'm telling you here guys by the end of the week this one thousand dollars it can actually grow to more than one thousand five hundred dollars by the end of the week then in the next week this one thousand five hundred dollars can increase to two thousand five hundred dollars two thousand five hundred dollars slowly within two months or three months you will grow your account and you have to always accept the small profits because you have to think about the future you have to think on the long run on the long term don't think about making a, a fortune from forex in just one day you have to bet you have to put a plan of at least two months or three months and hopefully after that you will see your account has grown greatly now to the third mistake is using or actually selecting the wrong setup let me try to find you a good example here happened for someone who have actually sent me this message and let me just be sure um let me try to find it on the one hour chart i think it happened on the uh, aud and zd where actually the pair has just refer reversed from one support level or sorry from a resistance and that guy has lost uh, the trade and he was actually upset with it uh, just give me a few seconds guys to find the setup i think okay I, here it is here it is i found it this one so actually this here was a wrong setup what happened here i remember because i have explained to him his mistake clearly what happened here is he told me seller what i saw here was a previous resistance which which was also a strong support and I placed by order right here on the pound in ZD because I thought that this support is gonna keep his position as a support and I told him man what happened to you the pair has just reversed from a resistance look at look at that uh, just a second please okay so we can see that the pair has just reversed from a resistance number one to and three we can see that these bounces happened when the pair tried to break out from this resistance the candles has failed to break out from this level and immediately has failed now once you see that how can you seriously expect from the market to reverse on the support level that's of course not gonna happen or it has a high chance of the failure because we can see it here the price action and by the way guys if you are following my videos this is the candle that I'm always referring to as my perfect price action my favorite price action which I am always uh, it's, uh, which is actually always uh, indicating a strong bearish reversal because this candle as you can see like that it has a small tiny wick at the top with long tail at the bottom usually this candle indicating that the market now is gonna make a, a strong bearish reversal how can you actually possibly place by order here that is not making any sense the pair has just reversed from the resistance level right here and of course it's gonna continue falling all the way down until hitting this previous support and look at that if you placed actually your trade at this support level right right, uh, right here look at that this is the support level if you have placed your trade right here which is actually not not following my strategy since we are having already a support number one and here a support number two we can see that the candle here has indeed reversed and if the candle reversed here we can see that it gave more than 40 pips of profit however you have to be always wise about the selecting of your setups don't select non-reasonable setup like that guys always be sure that you are actually reading the market and you are actually reading how what's happening in the market 
you cannot just place by order after after a strong reversal from the resistance and for vice versa of course you cannot place sell after a strong reversal from the support so please pay attention to the setups and be careful be wise you can of course always refer to my videos to find the perfect setups the other mistake of course we have to discuss here is forcing a 20 pips profit for every single trade now there are thankfully some people who are forcing themselves to only spot a trade with 20 pips or actually entering only one trade per day now the problem is are they indeed gonna get 20 pips from this trade some of them actually they don't get it let me show you example for example um let me try to find something guys hopefully i can find it let me just uh, pause this video and i will find something good so actually i'm just trying to find the example i just I, I just wanted to show you this it's just an example guys please don't take it as a setup that is only to clear to you what i mean so for example somebody will come here and he will say i found here a strong resistance level and after the breakout of this resistance i actually placed my buy order right here because this previous resistance is gonna be a support now of course as the strategy rules we need to exit our trade at the nearest resistance now where is the nearest resistance or support in this case of course it is right here look at that here is the nearest resistance if you place your buy order right here on the support that is of course the nearest resistance right so the problem here is how many pips is the distance from this support level here to this resistance right here let's check it out it's only eight pips now the problem some members actually or some traders what they are doing is when they find this setup and for example it is a perfect perfect setup and it is complete all the rules they set the take profit level to be 20 pips so that is 20 pips like that now of course that's not gonna work you can never force the market to give you a 20 pips from each and every single trade you have to be wise and be, be be very careful when you are selecting your setups that it is actually gonna give you a 20 pips that's why look at that i am actually on the chf gpy actually i personally prefer trading the pound pairs why because once more reversal from the pound can actually mean 20 pips very easily however if you are on the chf gpy you need to wait really long reversal to complete or to get the 20 pips you are seeking so actually i'm telling you this if you want to get the perfect uh, or the highest uh, winning ratio setups you have to aim on the pound pairs they are gonna give you the best the best uh, setups and the best uh, profits possible of course it can also give you the worst losses so you have to be very careful and wise always be sure before you enter the trade for example uh, just example guys okay for example we can see here that very similar to the cfgpy we had here a previous resistance and this resistance has become right here the support so you have to exit your trade at the nearest resistance of course which is right here but we can see that the candles did not reach that resistance however let's see how many pips was this reversal check it out it was almost 17 pips which is actually totally fine but still we didn't get the 20 pips we were seeking however um, the same scenario on the CHF GPY it was 8 pips and the same scenario also on the pound uh, GPY it was 17 pips so before you enter the trade be careful be sure you are selecting where is my exit gonna be don't just select uh, don't just enter the trade with the buy or sell always think if i enter the trade here where am i going to exit my trade so this is the resistance right here and this resistance has become the support so if i place my buy order right here where am i going to end my trade of course i'm going to end it at the nearest resistance which is right here and that is of course more than 20 pips that is actually 38 pips so always calculate first before you enter the trade calculate first how much profits or how much pips you are going to earn from this trade now to the fourth mistake or actually the fifth mistake which is over trading my friends this strategy is called 20 pips 
a day a day guys it's just one pips per day meaning it's only one trade per day please try to control yourself control your trades to enter only one trade per day really guys believe me i'm telling everyone here an honest advice if you want to be a day trader and if you want to enjoy making a lot of profits and you want to enjoy making money from forex you have to control yourself you have to understand that you cannot just open the platform and make money whenever you want that is not gonna work on the long term you cannot survive in this business if you do that so please accept only 20 pips per day either profit or loss it's up to you it's up to the setups you can find on or the spot in the market it's up to how much money you have it's up to how much you want to invest this day this day however personally and if you want my advice i highly recommend to enter only one trade per day that will help you first to relax the whole day you don't have to keep you you don't have to spend the whole day watching the market you don't have to sit to keep your ass on the seat for 12 hours or 10 hours of trading you can only just enter with this this one trade of scalping for 20 pips and that's it close the platform close your computer spend your day with your family enjoy your day and that's it try to not be greedy at all guys but trust me on the long term you will really enjoy it now to the mistake number six which is not following the momentum not the trend the momentum guys uh, the momentum can be affected by the news actually or something that can affect the currency so badly um, to be honest with you frankly speaking uh, right now it is look at the time gap I don't I want to show you the time right here in Dubai I'm recording this video at 3 30 a.m. in the morning okay uh, right now I really don't remember what happened exactly to the pound USD for this fall if I'm not mistaken it is related to the death and the uh, infection ratio in, uh, in, in UK uh, the number of the people who got infected and may perhaps uh, the sickness of mr johnson i'm not sure to be honest with you but anyway the whole idea is when we are having some bad news that can affect the currency the currency of course will fall and it will be affected by this news we have to put that in the consideration we have to think that there is something that's happening to the currency and for example placing any buy order here is really not smart at all um, for example, a uh, few months ago, if maybe not last year, I think, they suspended the activities of the UK Parliament, and of course, that has affected the currency so badly. In these scenarios, placing buy order on a support, or actually, to be honest with you, following any strategy is not going to work. If you are looking for reversal, uh, that is not going to work at all. You have to always keep your eyes on the news, considering the momentum of the trend or of the currency. The momentum actually guys can be noticed by the movement of the candles if you are seeing that the candles are not falling down at all you should know that there is something happening in that country something is affecting the pair and therefore you have to always consider that there is something making the pair actually falling like that without any hope for reversal so please don't force the market to give you any reversal because that is a, a battle that you can never win Pay attention always to the news, I'm telling you, that is one of the, big, the, of the biggest secrets to be successful in Forex. You can never ever be a profitable trader without actually paying attention to the news. Therefore, uh, it's very important to analyze the market. If you see, if you hear, if you hear any bad news about uh, the country's uh, situation or something happened to their leader, uh, of course that will affect the currency and you have to pay attention to the momentum keep your eyes on that and for the last mistake actually guys is selecting the wrong market allow me to show you a good example on the gold look at the gold the gold has been moving so randomly recently look at that for example if you are entering a trade on a ranging market like that that's not smart at all and of course there is a high chance that you will lose the trade this market here this kind of market is actually not respecting any support and resistance and as we can see it just keeps ranging over and over i believe uh, i saw worst thing actually look at that guys even that here look at that uh, like like here this kind of market is really ugly especially like that 
you cannot really find a good setups like that here and again you cannot really force the market to give you the setups you want actually i found something horrible here uh, let me just try to remember where was it yeah euro chf please look at this ugly market that is the ugliest thing i can ever see actually i, I, I i'm speechless what is that what am i looking at what am i supposed to read from this market nothing absolutely nothing I highly recommend you guys to completely avoid this ugly Euro CHF market. When you see the candles ranging like that for a long time, that means this market is not good for the trading. It's very bad for scalping, that's for sure. Every single tra trade you enter, there's a high chance you will actually lose it. Other, only if you are, of course, the luckiest person in the world and you place your buy order exactly from this point right here. Other than that, this kind of market is ugly. So please, actually, I remember I received a question from one member on the Telegram. He is showing me this one. He showed me this market and he told me he placed buy order somewhere or sell order. I'm not, I don't remember. And I told him, man, please look at the chart and just ask yourself, does it does it really look appealing for trading? Do you really want to trade in this, in this market? Compare this market with the Euro USD. Beautiful. Look at the Euro USD. I can read clearly the support and the resistance levels. I can know that there is here a strong key support and it has been a key resistance right here. So we can know exactly where the pair is going to reverse later. But if you go here, yuck, that is ugly. We really don't want to trade in such market like that, especially these things. These are actually painful to my eyes. So uh, these were the mistakes or the common mistakes when we are applying the 20 pips a day strategy. I really hope guys, this small demonstration video will help you in the future to have more successful trades using the 20 pips a day strategy. And of course, uh, in the upcoming week, we are going to make at least two live trading videos using this amazing strategy. So in the end, I really hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.